all right guys so here from Shexo and today i'm going to be showing you how to create a safety dashboard template and precisely it's going to be a behavior based safety participation dashboard where we look at the personnel on site the number of cars that they turn in to plot a graph like this and we also look at the card participation trend in terms of percentage and we look at the overall participation rate but before we can do that we need to build our database so we'll be creating a database like this where we on a daily basis we shall be updating with the number of personnel on site or personnel on board the number of cars that are returning to generate the participation rates which is simply the quotient of pob and the cards okay so simple division and it's gonna be a database so continuous database all the way to like um, the december but of course we can extend it further down so that it runs into several years and all and we shall be creating pivot tables and charts from the database that we have right here so as you can see we would have the pob being compared against the number of cards and we shall also create another pivot table where we compare monthly participation trends so that's the participation um, rates that we are comparing on monthly basis and we shall create an overall participation rate using a progress chart so that's what we have here on the dashboard pob observation cards card has participation trend and overall participation rates so without further ado let's get straight into it So this is where we begin to build our database. We usually call it the source data. On in all our templates, it's always the source data where you be working most of the time. So we are basically inserting an Excel table and we do a bit of formatting to make sure it is clean. And then we begin to input our data. And the data is a dummy data. Like all our templates, you always provide dummy data that you're gonna use to see how the report comes out on the dashboard.
all right so there we have it we have our bbs participation dashboard and this is very dynamic as you can see so we can control the dashboard with a slicer now what's going to happen is that the moment we get rid of all the data in here okay and then and then we clicked on refresh all like we come to the dashboard and we click on refresh all everything is going to vanish okay so this thing that you see here is very simple can get rid of it okay that's right here so we can see that if if we get an error we should return zero all right so that's it right there and over here as well we could see that if we get an error it should return a blank all right so so now there's nothing in the workbook everything is now gone because this is dynamic now if we build database for like um let's see this this month for the month of july it went all the way down and we provided some data for the personnel on site and then we provided the number of cards that detaining on a daily basis like 14 16 and just random figures and let me just duplicate for all and I clicked on refresh all if I came to a dashboard and I clicked on refresh all you notice now we have data in here okay now because we've not gotten into the um, multiple months currently we are still in July so it's when I went to August and I started building data for August then when we come onto our dashboard and I click on refresh all we are going to have data for August so we can group the data like over here and make sure that we have the figures in months all right so that's what that's what we have right here we have the figure for all the, the dashboard reporting for the month of july and reporting for the month of august all right so, so now we have our bbs participation dashboard thank you for your time